You're listening to the Higher Ideas Podcast, where ideas grow. Connect on Twitter, YouTube, iTunes, or higherideas.net. Now here's your host, I. Hello and welcome back to the Higher Ideas Podcast. So today I just had a really stimulating conversation with uh, someone I hadn't spoken to for quite a while. And for the first time we got into some really deep topics because I've changed quite a bit since the last time I've seen him. I was surprised that he was right there with me. He was a deep thinker too and in a different direction than me. And he really challenged me. He really challenged me to question my own ideas in a very direct and well put way. And of course, not all my ideas were convinced to change. Uh, there was some miscommunications and of course different opinions on, on very flexible issues. But still, some things were readjusted from that conversation. I did grow a little. I feel like I got a little stronger of mind. And I love that. I love it every time I have a conversation like that. And I really hope you're having that kind of conversation in your life. If you're avoiding conversations with people that challenge you too much, people that don't agree with you enough, and it's frustrating to talk to them, consider talking to them on purpose. Consider challenging yourself. Don't avoid them. Those are teachers. You don't have to agree with everything they say, but hear it and run it through your mind and see if it fits any of the pieces in your head. And see if it maybe fits better than some of the pieces in your head. And even if nothing comes of the conversation itself, after this great conversation, on the way home, I had a lot of spontaneous ideas that had nothing to do with the conversation. But it's because my juices were flowing. This great conversation got my brain working. It activated parts of my mind that were just sort of sitting idle because I really had to challenge myself to have this conversation, to get through the conversation. I had to challenge myself to both listen and to counter everything that was being said. And so uh, it was like stretching before a run. And then I was loose and I had ideas. It was great. It even brought you this exact podcast. See, I was actually having a writer's block of sorts. And, uh, well, here I am, back at the podcast, after a short dry spell. So find someone in your life to have a conversation like this with. Find many different people. You will get stronger from it. And you will have firmer ideas. And you'll have a more flexible mind. And you'll have many unexpected ideas and changes of thought. And there's nothing wrong with that. So here's hoping for many more amazing conversations to come in all of our lives. Till next time.